Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grammel School. It's not easy to fix up growing nails. Whether we do it with gel polish, dual forms or tips, but there is a technique that works all the time. And that is paper forms. So let's do a transformation. Here we go. These nails look fine at first glance, but if we take a look from the side, we will see that they are upgrowing. There is a proper alignment here, so it's not that obvious. Because the apex is closer to the cuticle zone. But if we take it off, we will see the upgrowing pattern. It's not that obvious on short nails, but longer ones would definitely look like trampolines. And normally clients want to have such nails fixed for an aesthetically pleasant look. Though there are many clients who prefer to keep them as they are. And that's totally fine too. But the purpose of today's video is how to fix such nails. Now, to prepare the nails for sculpting, we need to remove the free edge first, since otherwise the form would be lifted. And so would be the nails. So we remove the free edge completely and mat the nails with a file or a rough side of a buffer. Again, we file off the free edge. And I pay special attention to the ingrowth points. Since if we keep 1 to 2 mm here left, there may be cracks in those areas. Now let's do an e-file prep. Same as a combined technique. And we can cut the cuticle either at this point or after sculpting. Depending on your experience and a level of proficiency. Since beginner texts tend to do a manicure first and then ruin it completely with a file. Or cut the skin badly. So, to avoid that, just cut it afterwards and then polish it. I'm cutting the cuticle now because I know I can avoid ruining it with a file. So. I just trust my hands on this one. We can also touch up the hangnails with the same red flame drill bit or do it as a finishing touch. Now apply some acid-free primer for better bonding. My model's skin is sweating, so a primer is a must product here. As for a base coat, it may be a solid gel or a gel polish one. Just make sure it goes well with your gel coating. Because otherwise it may easily peel off. So I recommend you test it out on yourself or your close friends first. Whether your base coat goes well with the sculpting material. Now let's move on to the forms. I'm going to use these paper ones by Rue Nails. They hold the arch perfectly. Index nails are naturally curved. But those having upgrowing nails have straight ones. And that's actually what my own nails are like, so I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to set up the form straight here. If there is a gap between the nail and the form, we need to trim the central part. I make cuts in the ingrowth points and cut out the ears to squeeze the form well. Otherwise, the form will get too wide. And so will the nails. And we need an elegant shape. 
Another thing about upgrowing nails is their transverse arches. You might have noticed that they may make up up to 50% curve. And that doesn't help with the form setup either. So, if we were using dual forms, they wouldn't fit the natural nail curves here. And we would have to go a long way to fit them right. Or use some curved dual forms instead. So there are many nuances, and it's great when a nail text knows the ropes. Now let's lay out the gel. A medium consistency is preferable. But if you are a beginner, go for medium to thick to avoid pooling. And for this, we can also use a thin brush and outline the shape of the nail with it. Besides, try not to mess it up so as not to file a lot. Moving on to the nail art part. I'm going to use this Shimmeria Glittery Gel Polish. It's a thermogel with Yuki Flakes. This gel polish changes its color depending on the temperature around. And I decided to add more glitter near the cuticle for a dazzling effect. Now we need to form the nail architecture. I'm using a milky gel. And on longer nails, I would have made it in two steps. I would have filled in the center first and only then covered it up. Since a big gel drop is likely to stay damp on the inside. It simply won't get cured well. The technique is the same as in the nail alignment. Their sculpting came first. We need to keep it on the apex and blend it in towards the cuticle. Turning the hand over, make sure that the coating does not flow to the free edge, since otherwise the nail tips will get lifted. And that's what we are trying to avoid here. Now send it to cure for 2 minutes. And I'm not clipping these nails, since they are arched already. So using nail clips is optional. Now I remove the tacky residue and proceed with filing. Here I slightly shape the free edge first. I'm shaping almonds. Then I turn the finger to the side, place the file under the nail and file the lower parallels. In the almond shape there is a straight line and then a smooth lift. So if we set the forms upward, the lower parallels will lift up too. And that would make these nails look even more lifted. So, nail filing is one of the key steps in nail sculpting, especially when it comes to fixing lifted nails. We can touch up the sides with a file, but I don't touch the cuticle zone because it's even already. Now let's add stamping using some holiday patterns. New year lettering, snowflakes, because we're still in the winter mood. And such nail designs are still in. Soon enough, though, we're going to switch to vibrant spring nail arts. But for now, it's still winter. And let's also add stickers for more definition. I love this effect with both stamping and stickers and glitter. The nail art asks for a closer look, but it's not over the top at the same time. I also add some gel polish with bigger glittery bits.
And now let's top it off with a medium layer of top coat to cover up the nail art volume. To avoid pulling, we can cure it with a UV light before moving on to the next nail. And that's my favorite part. When the top coat reveals our nail art and when all the glitter comes alive. Seeing this makes it all worth it. Give a big thumbs up if you too love this part. There's a video on my channel where I do a side-by-side -side coating of natural and extended lifted nails. And that's a fun one, so check it out too. And I wish you all success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.